Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to lift them up with all the things, praise, and glory. Another day to seek Him. Another day to praise Him. Another day to glorify Him. Another day to put your faith, your trust, and your hope in Jesus. Another day to magnify His holy name, to exalt His holy name. Because he is King of Kings, and he is Lord of Lords. He is your everything. Every day should be a day to thank him and worship him and glorify him for who he is, for what he has done, and what he is doing right now in your life right now. We serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a big God. We serve an awesome God. We serve a God who's the same today, yesterday. And forevermore, he never changes. He stays the same. You can always count on him, and you can always depend on him. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you peacefully and humbly right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity right now. We thank you, Father God, for this chance of a lifetime. We thank you, Father God, for this word that we're about to receive. We thank you, Father God, for this powerful message today that's, that's keeping us full right now, that's keeping us satisfied right now. Heavenly Father God, there's no place that I'm ready to be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, in your sanctuary right now. Just lift you up with thanksgiving and praise and glorify and magnify your holy name, Jesus, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, we just thank you for this opportunity right now. Father God, there's no place that we're ready to be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, in your sanctuary, Father God. We thank you for this word that we better receive. We thank you, Father God, for this powerful message today that's going to keep us full today or keep us satisfied today. Oh, God, I'm asking you to have your way with us right now. I'm asking you to touch us right now, lift us up right now, move through us right now. Allow your presence to move to this place right now. Allow your love to move to us right now. Uplift us right now, Father God. Oh, God, I'm just asking you, Father God, let this word go out and it should not return back void. Let this word uh, move to somebody today. Let this word speak to somebody's spirit today. Allow this word to open up somebody's eyes to let them know that it's you, Jesus, that you are talking about them. Oh, God, we're going to lift you up today, God. Just to let you know that we love you. We trust you, Jesus. Father God, we're going to continue to pour our heart out to you no matter what, Jesus. No matter what we're going through, no matter what we're facing, Jesus, we're going to continue to exalt your holy name. Allow the angels to join us in praise and worship right now. Oh, God, we just thank you for this day. We know how awesome and mighty and powerful you are, God. Oh, God, we know that you can turn things around in a second, in a jiffy, God. And, God, we just want to say this. Thank you, Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do. We magnify your name right now today, Jesus. We worship your name right now today, Jesus. Oh, God, we just, we just thank you with, with thanksgiving and praise right now today, Jesus. You are our everything right now today, Jesus. And Father God, you're invited. You have an open invitation. You're welcome right now today into your home right now, in your sanctuary right now, on your YouTube channel right now, on your platform right now, in my sister's home, my sister's life, and to my brother's home and my brother's life. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. You have an open invitation. You're also invited right now today on Jesus' YouTube channel, on his platform right now, in his sanctuary right now. And my brother's home, my brother's life, into my sister's home, into my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. I'm asking you to lift us up right now. I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, to move through us right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to do some things that you've never done before. And Father God, we just thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. I'm so honored and blessed to fellowship and pray and praise with all my brothers and sisters around the world, around the globe, around the universe. And Father God, before I get started... It's something that's always on my mind about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you. I can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I can't thank you enough. That's why I pray you the way I do. 
because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart into you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify and I worship you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. 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 Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the truth say amen. And let Jesus know right now that you can't thank him enough. I'm just going to get right into this word because I believe someone needs to know this. Someone need to hear this. And someone need to know the truth. A lot of my brothers right now, you thinking that a certain woman really is in love with you. She's telling you these things to mess with your mind. She has came into your life to steal and kill and destroy your relationship than what you have and also your marriage. You have allowed her beauty to brainwash you and you actually think that's your girl. You actually think that it's your woman. You actually think that you have her on lockdown. But my brother, why do you let her play you like that? Why do you allow her to use you like that? Why do you allow her to ma manipulate you the way that she did? Because that's the only thing she did. She knew how weak you were. She knew that you weren't that strong. And some of y'all don't realize some of these women, they do these things, they use a lot of witchcraft on you. If you're not prayed up and prayed, my brothers and sisters, it don't take nothing but a second for her to take you up out of your own household. It don't take up but a second. She will make sure that you will leave your kids and your family right behind to follow her. But the whole time, you thinking that she's in love with you. You thinking that's your woman. You thinking that's your girl. My brother, I'm sorry to tell you this. Dang your girl. Dang your woman. That's everybody's woman. She does these things just to see who she can trick and who can she manipulate. That's why she do these things. And she got a lot of y'all right now today up under spell right now. Witchcraft and voodoo is real, my brothers and sisters. Don't think that these women do not use these, these tactics on, on men who is not prayed up, who is not walking with God fully and wholeheartedly. They know who they can get. They use their beauty. They use these tight clothes. They use the eyelashes. They use their hair. They use body parts to pull men away from their family just to follow them. But you don't realize it's always a setup because the moment they realize that they got you, they're going to leave you. They, their job is to steal, kill, and destroy what you have. And a lot of y'all brothers right now today, you took the bait. You took the bait. I know some of y'all might not even like this service today. You might even like this word today. You might even hit the thumbs up, but it's okay, but I got to speak the truth. I got to speak on what it is because a lot of women right now, they have came in and broke up happy homes, has came in and destroyed marriages because the man was not strong enough to fight the temptation of the lust and the beauty of that woman. They weren't strong enough. She knew that. That's why she was dressing the way that she was dressing. That's why she was manipulating him the way that she was doing. Because she knew. First of all, he was not a man of God. Second of all, he was not strong enough. Third of all, she knew how she could win him in. She knew that. She prayed on him. She watched his every move. She knew his weak spots. So it didn't take her long to throw herself onto him because she knew that he was, oh, help me with this thing, Jesus. She knew that he was going to fall for. And a lot of brothers have failed for something thinking it was theirs. That's not your girl, bro. 
You, she can tell you whatever it is that you want to believe. She is not your girl. Because this ain't her first time doing what she did to you. She ain't told you about it, but this ain't her first time. It ain't going to be her last time. This is not her first rodeo, and it's not sure going to be her last rodeo. But you got your mind so messed up. Nose all up in the air. You are actually thinking that's your girl. Bro, where did you go wrong at? You had something good at the house. And you fell for something like this. You had some class at the house. But you fell and went for some trashy. Thinking she's your woman. She played you. She played you. And she's going to play you so bad. That she's going to leave you hanging. And she's going to go after another man. Because that's her whole plan. To steal, kill, and destroy to plot on those who are weak, to plot on those who's going to be after her beauty and her lust. That's how she got you. Lusting. Not love, but lusting. Some of y'all get the two mixed up. She using lust, pretending to be love, and she using that on you because she, that was, she had that curse of lust on her. She don't have love on her. She have a curse of lust on her. And she has spread it onto you. Now realize she is using you only for a hot moment. And when she realized that she got you, when she damaged you and destroyed you, she's going to leave you. You better believe it. And if you think that's the one that you're going to marry, if you, if you think that's the one that you're going to take home to mom and daddy, I promise you, you will get a chance to take other mom and daddy because she's going to be gone and she's going to be after the next man. She already got the next man lined up. She already know who our next attack is. She already know who, oh, help me with this thing, Jesus. She already know who our next victim is. But you sit right there telling everybody, oh, I'm in love, bro. Oh, she loved me, bro. She can't do without me. Then the lie she's telling you, and you fell for it. But see, if your mind was focused on this and stayed in this, see, that lust and that beauty would have never got you. See, that lust and that beauty would have never have had you walking the way that you walk in. That lust and that beauty would never allow you to leave your marital home or your relationship home to fall behind her because the only thing she was doing was setting up a trap for you to fall in. She set up a trap for you to fall in. And you, my brothers, you don't even realize that you have already fell into that trap. Amen? Amen. First turn our Bible to Proverbs chapter 6, and we're going to read verse 25. Proverbs chapter 6, and we're going to read verses 25 through 29. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Do not love in your heart after her beauty. Solomon is telling this already. Do not love in your heart, my brothers, after her beauty. Or let her captivate you with her eyes. See, that's how she got you. She winked her eye at you. She looked at you a certain way. And you say, boy. I know she won't. She only looked at you that way because you was already lusting after her. You already had in your mind how you're going to sleep with her. You already had in your mind how you're going to leave your home for her. You already had in your mind on what you was going to do. So when she winked at you, when she looked at you seductively, she already knew that she had you. She already knew that you were going to leave your home. She already knew that you were going to leave your children behind. She already knew that you were going to leave your wife behind to follow after her, but you didn't realize it was always a trap. You didn't realize this was, this was not her first time doing this. She have a reputation of doing this. She have a reputation of breaking up homes and marriages. But you was not strong enough to see it. Mm. For the prostitute reduces you 
to a loaf of bread. And the adulterers, know what they do, praise upon your very life. See, she was already praying on you. She had a man at one point. She even probably had a husband. But she prayed on a man that looked just like the man or the husband. He had to look just like him or had some type of similar, similar ways. And when she saw what she saw that what she used to, she prayed on it. So that's why you got to be careful, my brothers. A lot of these women are using witchcraft and voodoo. It is true and it is real. They use these things on men that is weak. They use these things on men who is not strong in the Lord. They use these things on men who is not strong in the word. So don't act like it don't happen because it does. Don't pretend like it don't exist because it does. So that's why she did. She was the adulteress because she's already cheating in her relationship already. She's already cheating in her marriage already. So it was going to take nothing for her to get you because she prayed on you. She prayed on you for you to leave your marital home, for you to leave your relationship with that pretty young queen that you have. She didn't care not about him, and she didn't care not about her. Only thing she wanted was her selfish way just to see, could she really get you? And she knew that she can get you because she was going to wear something so sexy and so seductively, she knew that she was going to lust about the her. And the moment that she knew that you was lusting about her, she prayed on you and she did something with her eyes to will you in. And the moment that she willed you in, she said, I got me a sucker right now. But you can't see it, my brothers. Because the whole time, you think that this woman's in love with you. You think this woman really want to be with you. She's telling you that she loved you. She's telling you that she never done this before. She's telling you that she never had a man like you before. She's telling you that you're the best thing that she ever had. But you don't realize she's lying to you. You don't realize she's setting you up. You don't realize she already set a trap for you. You just fell for her. I know some of y'all probably say, yeah, that's me. Yes, I did that. Yes, I left my home. You see, but you can't see what she was up to until it all fell down. And if it had not fell down yet, it's on its way to fall down. It's on its way to be destroyed because that's who she is. That's how she get down. That's how she rock. She already had the next victim already lined up because she already done prayed over him. She already know who he is. She already know where he at, where he stayed, where he work at, what he do, and what he don't do. How she always a step ahead on you, my brothers and sisters. She already a step ahead. So while you send that thing that you in love, while you send that thing that she loved you, she's already plotting on her next move. She's plotting how she's going to kill, steal, and destroy the next man marriage or relationship. She's already got books, books ahead on how who our next victim is. While you sitting right there looking silly, thinking that you got you a dime piece, thinking that you got a foxy hot mama, you don't even realize you got somebody who really don't want you. Amen? Amen. Can a man scoop fire into his lap without his clothes being burned? Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? So is he who sleeps with another man's wife. No one who touches her will go unpunished. No one who touches her. When you touch that, do you not know what you are carrying back to your house? Do you not know what you are carrying in your spirit and your soul, my brothers and sisters? Do you not know? My brothers, why are you going to sleep with another man's wife? She is not your girl, bro. She don't want you. As you think that she want you, she do not want you. I'm going to make this very clear to you again so you can understand me. I'm going to get up a little bit. She do not want you. She is not your girl, bro. 
A lot of y'all right now today, you feel like you think that you the man. You think that you macho. You think that you tough because you are sleeping with another man's wife or another man's girlfriend. You think that you are doing something. The same way that you are sleeping with her, she going to sleep the next man after you, the next man after you, and the next man after you. She just know how to get you because you was not strong enough. You're not even her type. My brothers, that's the number one move that you went wrong on. She just knew that you was lusting. And she knew how to get you and manipulate you. And she got you. Some of y'all brothers right now, some of y'all going through it right now. That's a lot of my sisters right now. They dealing with this because the other woman has came in and been a home wrecker. So a lot of y'all might not like this. But I'm speaking on truth. And I'm speaking on facts. You got to be careful with some of these women because some of these women out here today, they, they, they're using witchcraft and voodoo to take other women's men away from them. My brothers, you got to get strong in this. Because if you're not strong in this, that right there is going to happen. You're going to lust after her. And when she knows that you lust at her, she got you. She know how to wear you in. The point I'm making, be careful. Don't think that you're getting a reward. Don't think that you're getting a blessing by sleeping with another man's um, um, woman. Because you're not my brothers and sisters. You set yourself up for disaster. And right now, you're already in disaster right now. You're already in the pit of hell right now. Because what you're doing, you are doing wrong. She knows what she's doing. But you're doing the same thing. And if this word is for you, and you know God is talking to you, give Jesus some thanks and praise and glory in the house of the Lord right now today. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. I was praying this simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and perfecter of your faith. You continue to trust him no matter how painful it is, no matter how stressful it is. You continue to trust him. You continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pick up your crosses and continue to walk with Jesus. Continue to hold on to his untamed hands and don't you dare ever, ever let it go. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep on in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm serving Minister LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.